golden porcelain. So what are we filming today? Today we're filming 10 things we hate about winter in Canada. Because right now, around the world it's spring and they have nice weather and we're still stuck here with a bunch of snow outside this window. Last week it, we had a huge snowstorm and it snowed about 50 centimeters in the middle of March, so that sucks. Yeah. So we're just gonna have a little 10 things that we hate about winters here in Canada where we live. And they're not gonna be the typical things like, oh, I hate the cold, I hate the snow. They're really specific things that we personally encounter like every day. And it's annoying. Okay, so, so let's begin. So for number one, the fact that you always get little rocks in your boots, no matter how high your boots are, you always get rocks in your boots. And it's really annoying because you just feel them in your toes and it's really uncomfortable and you could be walking and it's not like you're going to be able to pick up your boots and like, yeah, it's just horrible, annoying. Number two. So in winter here, it's really annoying because you're either too hot or too cold. So for example, you check the temperature and it's minus 30 outside, so you layer up, you wear your winter jacket, you wear like a hoodie, you wear like a sweater, and you're good like outside in the cold. But you're it, perfectly fine. You're, yeah. yeah. But in our cases, when we take public transportation, we are sweating so much on that bus or on the metro. Yeah. And then you're at school and you realize, oh my god, I'm actually really, really hot in all the layers I'm wearing. Then you just die in the heat. And then you'll go outside and it'll be really windy and you'll still be cold. No matter how many layers you're wearing, you're never at a com comfortable temperature. Yeah, and oh, that's really annoying. Number three. So as we mentioned, last week there was a huge snowstorm. Wind everywhere, snow everywhere. It was a disaster. And you'd figure schools would close, some workplaces would, clo would close. No. no, not over here. Everyone just acts like it's a normal day, but it's not. And it's hell, traffic is hell, going anywhere is hell. Your teachers are late to all your classes, but, but what's the point of going you to have class? to make the effort to be there on time. No one shows up to class, and then there's those couple of students who show up and just like stay home. I always show up. I don't. So number four. This is kind of gross, but since it's really cold and it's really windy, my eyes start to tear. And when they tear with the wind, it blows them outwards. And it gets really gross, but it becomes like dry and crusty. And then that just makes it a disaster to put on my makeup. And how does that thing on my makeup? Yeah, it's not comfortable. At all. It's really gross. But I guess we'll look at that. Number five. So when you're walking outside, you're breathing out and your your breath forms like little water particles, like you know. Like fog. I mean. Fog, yeah. And but it's so cold outside that as you're breathing, it gets stuck to your hair and freezes. So you walk around with little icicles <laughs> on your hair. And this happens so often, like, you can never properly do your hair without getting it messed up because of these stupid icicles that always form. That's true. Again, so annoying. Number six. So, since we take public transportation, because we don't have our license yet, um, when there's a snowstorm, buses are never on time. And we're outside waiting for the buses, it could take up to an hour, and we'll just be waiting there. In the cold. Losers. But the thing is, it's not even just when there's snowstorms. But it's just, just all the time. Because it's winter, they could, could be late. They could be late. They could just not show up. Sometimes they just don't show up at all, and you have to wait till the next one comes. And yeah, it's just it's terrible, especially in the cold. Like you, you know, it's horrible day to start or end your day, especially early in the morning or late at night. Verse seven. Um, this one is. You kind of have a love-hate relationship with it because okay usually in, in winter the sky is gloomy and whatever it's pretty much just gray outside but you have those one days that this it just decides to be super super nice out super sunny, sunny. and you think that'd be a good thing but, but it's not. not 
the fact that there's snow everywhere, the whole ground is covered in white, and then you have this sun beaming on tiny little particles of snow, it's impossible to walk through. Your eyes are like blinded by all this light. I start crying. It's so, oh, it burns so much. It's terrible. Like you it's can't, really you have to like walk like a squinted, cause or else, forget about it, you lose your eyesight. <laughs> but yeah. That That's makes it hard to get to school. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and that causes a lot of traffic too. Yeah, walking. Yeah. Well. Number eight. Since it's really cold in Canada, you usually don't want to leave your house because of how cold it is and you want to stay snuggled in your warm bed. But at a point that gets really tiring and you get so bored of just doing nothing, but you're too lazy or too cold to actually step outside and do something. Plus, there's nothing to do in winter because all the fun activities are in the summer yeah. usually, like music festivals. Then again, we have some a couple of music festivals, but it's still in really cold here. But yeah, it's still freezing, and you're just constantly in this cycle of complaining about being bored, but then complaining about not wanting to come, go outside because it's too cold. So yeah, that sucks. Yeah. So number nine. Okay, so you're walking outside, and I'll turn this into a story. You're walking outside, you're having, like, just it's walking. a perfectly normal winter day. Like, nothing has annoyed you yet about the cold. And then all of a sudden, whoop, you just fall. You just fall. Like, you just ah! fall. <laughs> okay, so the thing we hate about winter, this number nine, is black ice. Black ice is everywhere in the winter. Not only does it cause like really bad car accidents where like I fall fatal fatal, but people on the street just fall all the time because it's so you walk and you don't even see it. Or even when you do see it, it can just be too slippery to avoid. And you just fall and you hurt yourself. Both of us have like huge bruises. Bruises and here. scratches on our legs because we fell. I felt going to work. That was really bad. I fell chasing my dog outside because he ran away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, black ice is terrible and like it's one of those things that yeah it's annoying but it's also kind of deadly too. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do about it, it's just freaking there. Yeah. It's there but you can't see it. it's like a black hole. Ooh. Good one. <laughs> okay. So last one now. Number ten. So this is more for people who wear glasses. But when I go outside, I need my glasses because I can't see. So I'll be walking and then I'll breathe. Like I'll take a deep breath and exhale and then my glasses fog up completely. And then <laughs> you can't see it. It's so bad. And then I don't know what to do. I just like stand there, like wait for it to deep fog and then continue walking. But it's so hard because sometimes you'd be in the middle of walking, like let's say to school. You can't just stop there. So you kind of have to find your way through the fog up glasses and that's oh, that's annoying and then you look like an idiot too so yeah so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching we'll have some new videos coming up soon yep so, and don't forget to subscribe like, like comment, comment share share with all your friends mug them about them i said mug them i meant bug, bug them, them. <laughs> don't bug them <laughs> And we don't want you guys to end up in jail. Yeah, and if you see us wearing like the same outfit, it's because we're trying to like mass film today. So don't be surprised if you see us wearing the same thing. No, we're not dirty. We don't wear things the day after. But yeah, um, that's I think that's it. it. So thank you guys for watching again, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in the end.